Hey guys, John Scarborough here. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this mob grazing we're doing. We're just, we just did a little bit here, um, kind of using it as a tool more or less. We're not really doing it every single day right now. We're not really, uh, don't really have the time at the moment. We're in the middle of building a shop and a house and <clears throat> doing all sorts of stuff. So we're just a little bit too busy for that right now. But we are using it as a tool right in here. We got a lot of weedy areas, places you can't really get a tractor or anything like that. So we're experimenting with putting them in here. They're gonna be, uh, I just put a video in there and I'll put a link to that video in here uh, in the link, um, no, I mean a, a link to it in the description below, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, of when I put them in here and I'm also gonna do another video tomorrow of what this, um, I'm not sure when I'll post it, but of what this property, this little spot right here looks like afterwards. So you'll see a before and after between all those videos. So go back and watch all those videos. Uh, after you finish this one this one right here i'm going to show you we got them in here right now and then we're going to be moving them over here right across i don't know if you can see that other fence we got another line right there now what we're doing here we're making them even tighter on this next one um like over here I, it's hard to really show you without showing you from up above but um they probably in about maybe maybe an acre to maybe three quarters of an acre or something like that uh, and their work pretty good right there, but I I don't think uh, Like I said, we couldn't really do any better than what we did because of the way the creek is cut out through there um, But I don't think that it's going to be as effective as we're hoping because they're not as tight as they need to be I don't think they're gonna spend the night in here and we'll see how it looks in the morning and I'll show a video of that um, So stay tuned for that uh, In fact, I may even be showing that video before this one. So uh, if you haven't seen that, go click on it and you'll see. So anyway, I do want to talk real quick about some of the things that we're learning with the mob grazing. I don't know if you can see that little bit of a dog leg we put in there. But some of these real short stretches, I find it can be a little bit difficult to get your line tight right off the bat. <clears throat> so what I find is after you get it stretched, sometimes you find a little spot like that, you throw a little dog leg in it, like move, pick up a post and move it out like that, you'll get it tightened back up the way you want. Uh, and another thing I wanted to talk about, I've seen a lot of people talk about these cord, little cord rollers. Um, I do have a few of them. I don't really prefer them. Um, but I did want to talk about, they are kind of handy, handy, I'm sorry, in a couple different places um, that they are useful, okay? Uh, mostly I use them for real short runs of, of wire. Uh, when I need, need to put a little bit of extra wire that I got cut off of somewhere, and I don't really use it very often, okay? Uh, so I do, I do like them okay, but I don't love them. Um, I actually have one that I made. Y'all can look it up. And I'm fixing to be making a few more um, that you can get, actually get for even cheaper than that. And I know that sounds ridiculous because you can get one of those for eight bucks. But the one that I made, uh, you can get for $3, okay? Um, so y'all stay tuned and I'll probably show y'all how to make one or at least show you what I did and you can also if you've been watching my channel you should have seen one that I did already uh, that I got for very very cheap um, and if you if you're just looking for a cheap option that's a little bit better than those little cord reels definitely last you longer but you're not quite ready to commit to 75 80 dollars for a, a three to one geared ratio reel that might be something you can look into for now so anyway I will be showing that um, but I wanted to talk about this little spot here. I don't know if you can see that other post right through there, that little piece of white. That's not a very big stretch right here we're giving them. This next spot is gonna be very, very tight. We'll let them in here in the morning and then see how well they'll do, okay? So we're just trying to clean up these creeks a little bit, see if we can. Uh, these are old washouts that have now kind of grown in and maybe somewhat kind of gotten controlled a little bit. We got some of that really, really good uh, grass that grows real well in the wintertime and real well in the creeks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say again, if I can get anybody to tell me what that stuff is, I would love to know. Because that, guys, has been an excellent forage. My cows have eaten. Uh, it really helped them through the wintertime uh, real well. They don't seem to touch it much in the summer. But in the wintertime, it helps them a lot. It stays green all year round and it grows all year round. It grows better in the summer, but it grows all year. And it grows 
and these creeks and we'll hold these creek banks together so if anybody knows what that is please let me know okay i'd love to see about maybe even seeding my creeks with it okay um but anyway this is a little spot we basically just got them fenced right around this one little washout area it's grown up and we're going to try to let them run down through here and mob grazing this one's going to be even tighter of a spot than the one they're in right now uh it's going to be looking at it i'd say it's about oh i don't know i don't even think it's a half acre guys i, I bet you I bet you it's more like a quarter acre. It's much smaller than the one they're in now. So I'm kind of excited to see how it works out. We're just going to kind of keep playing with it and see just how well it works. Uh, like I said, we're not doing continuous mob grazing. So we're not just keeping them really, really tight all the time. We're just using it as a tool. So this pasture right here, we're, we're mob grazing the really bad stretches, the real bad places, okay? Places that are full of weeds and, and real bad, okay? Then the rest of this pasture right here, we still got some winter stockpile we're still trying to get through uh, before the green grass completely gets uh, mature. But the rest of this pasture, we will let them in and they'll probably be in it for two, maybe three days. And then they'll go through that gate if you can see it up there. I'll try to view in on it. They'll go through that and into their next pasture, okay? But what we're, gonna, what we're doing, since we don't have a lot of time to do any intensive mob grazing, we're going to intensively graze them in the spots like this spot right here, the spots that are really bad, intensely graze them, intensively, I'm sorry, graze them. And then when we get to the much better places that are not full of weeds, we're going to open them up and let them have it for a couple days, um, just simply because that's all we have the time for. So uh, y'all stay tuned for that. We do hope to do a little bit more of that. We are building a house right now and a shop. Uh, and we're trying to sell uh, one place that we have. And so we're, we're really, really busy right now. So it's really hard to just stay on that solid. So anyway, stay tuned everybody. Thanks for all the subscribers. For anyone that has not subscribed, I ask that you please do subscribe to my channel. And uh, don't forget to give me a good thumbs up. Uh, that helps the channel out a lot comments if i if y'all you know if you see something you need to point it out maybe help me out a little bit that's great um putting some knowledge out there that that i don't know or anything like that that that's what these channels are for you know that's what we're all trying to do is learn so anyway thanks